Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and today we have this beautiful 2020 Volvo XC60, and we've already done a wash, decontamination, one-step polish, panel prep, and we are ready to apply our coating. The coating that we are going to be applying today is this product right here. This is Art to Shine, their ceramic metal oxide coating. This is a three-year coating, and some actually say that it can last beyond. Uh, you're going to find fantastic gloss and shine with this product, as is typical of all Art to Shine uh, coatings. You're also going to have very slick paint. But what's very key with this coating is that, one, it's got this really cool blue color to it. But you'll find that it is uh, extremely resistant to chemicals and also has uh, a greater amount of UV protection than some of the standard coatings that are on the market. It actually has about 93% solids within this product. So you want to have a smaller workspace. You don't want to necessarily be doing like half a hood. You're not going to have two, three, even some coatings that I've done recently, 10 to 30. 30 minutes of uh, letting it sit on the panel before you fl it flashes and you buff it off. This is about a 10 to 15 second, uh, you know, sitting on the panel, flash off, then buff off and level. So you want to work in smaller portions, but you can still get quickly around the vehicle when you have um, smaller flash times like that. But I'm really excited to be trying this product out. This vehicle is frequently exposed to a lot of like farming environment, high dust, high dirt, um, high UV rays. And also here in Pennsylvania, we have very hard water. Uh, we have shale uh, within a lot of our underneath of our ground. So a lot of the water that we have um, even just naturally has high mineral deposits within it. And they like to tar and chip the roads. And so because of that, we have a lot of oily residue on our roads that when it splatters on the lower panels, you need a product that's going to be chemically resistant and very durable. So that's why I think the ceramic metal oxide coating is going to be a perfect candidate for this vehicle. So let's get straight into the application. This is my first time using it. So I want to share with you guys any tips um, or just some information that I learned along the way. Uh, but I'm really excited to see the end result. We will for sure be applying this and pulling it out into the sunlight to inspect for high spots, but also for you guys to kind of see the end result. See what our before looks like. It looks pretty good, <laughs> but let's take it up a notch and get this baby applied. So let's get straight into it. Sometimes, uh, I feel like these pro-level products can make you a little bit nervous, and you don't need to be. We're going to divide this hood up into fours, up and down, side to side. Because of the color of the vehicle, be a little tricky to see. We're actually, I think we're going to turn the lights off. We're going to do some indirect lighting. That actually helps me see a little bit better. You can actually see the coating a little bit more easily when we have our indirect lighting. In fact, give me a second. All right. So the indirect lighting, I actually can see the coating a little bit better. So we're going to try that out and just see if that helps the application process go a little bit easier for us. You can see I've got a, a light colored ceiling and I have the lights shining up on them. Just don't look into them or you'll be blinded. And you can see that first towel does a fantastic job of removing the transfer solution. Second one, I'm just going to come back in. Straight lines. I can feel a huge difference from where I've coated to where I haven't. You can actually hear it right here. It switches over. So remarkable slickness just for overkill, light touch. And if you overlap where you coated or didn't coat, it's not going to hurt it.
letting it sit on there a little bit longer. We're going to do this whole front clip. It's going to be easier for me to actually remove it if I just apply it this way. I can see it a little bit better. I know it's not a black vehicle, so it's not going to be the easiest for you to see. Okay, this front section is ready to go. So you can see We've got a little bit of rainbowing. Ever so slightly. Again, not the best color to show you guys, but I can't wait to see the end result. We're gonna flip to the fresh side. It's actually very easy to remove. It's, it's not grabby at all. Um, very smooth under the microfiber. Just makes it a little difficult on this color to see it because there's not a whole lot of telltale signs going on. I noticed when I let it sit longer, it did start to sweat a little bit, but I think that's probably the max end of where you want it to sit on the panel. Uh, when I talked to Christian, he said 10, 15 seconds is about right. Some have said one to two minutes. Play with it. That's the only thing I can say. If you try that one to two minutes and it works for you and it's not difficult, letting a coating sit on there for as long as possible, it's only going to give it more bond and more uh, strength. But obviously, you don't want to create high spots or more work for yourself. So, you know, even if you start out 10 to 15 seconds, maybe, you know, stretch it to 30, then stretch it to a minute to see how far it can go. If you find that it's becoming grabby or more difficult to buff off, back off on your uh, flash time that you let it sit on there. There is a leveling coating that you can apply with this before you apply this, or if you find that you have high spots, you can kind of go over it with that to help uh, freshen the high spots and then buff off, make the, the process easier. But I wanted to see how easy or difficult it was without that leveling coating. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'll have a need for it, but that's me saying that now. Let me get all the way around the vehicle. We'll pull it out into the daylight and see what kind of high spots we have. This three towel method I have found to be pretty effective with, you know, remo remo uh, removing any sort of um, transfer solution that might carry over from one section to the next. That's where your high spots come from. When you're kind of wiping and you push the solution over, uh, you're going to create a high spot right where that microfiber was. So that's why this third towel over the entire panel really kind of helps prevent those high spots just a light gentle touch 
Um, but we'll keep moving around this vehicle. All in all, very impressive. Really nice slickness. You can just hear the difference. Um, I can't wait to see the end result. So let's keep moving. I have a, a limited amount of time to be able to get this on. I also have to do interior coating. So let's keep moving. So you can see ever so slightly, like a sweating. You can see very easy on metals. It's fantastic. We're able to get in all of our little intricate areas very easily. Make sure we don't have high spots. It's going to probably be the number one area where high spots would develop if we did. So just make sure you pay attention to those little intricate areas so that way you can get it before the coating cures. So I've done two panels at a time, and this is ready to buff off. But essentially, work at the top, do the hood. I like to get the front and back ends out of the way, so that way all I have to do are the sides. Very straightforward and easy. So we are making fantastic time on this coating. It is going on and coming off a lot easier than I initially had anticipated. You can see we have our indirect lighting that's really helping us to see the transfer solution. So I'm not having to spend too much time uh, going back over sections. I am methodically starting at the top. Then we do our hood. Then I did the front grill entire section. That way I didn't rush or have high spots. I could focus on that one section. Then we did the trunk, got that out of the way, and now you can kind of breeze through. You can do the entire sides and, and just do it section by section. I will basically break it up from body line to body line. If we have an entire door panel, I'll divide that in half. And then you do your trim pieces, 
half, half, and then just kind of follow the body lines of the vehicle. That's going to help you visually not work further. And that way, you know where you started and stopped, especially on these light colored vehicles. That may come in handy for those of you that haven't worked on a lighter color vehicle or coded a vehicle before. Uh, when it comes to timing for this, a lot of times you need to let it sit 24 hours before uh, releasing it to the customer, sometimes 12. This product, you can actually release it to the customer after four hours. It's a four hour minimum um, and it's not three hours. It's a four hour bare minimum before it can get wet. You don't want to necessarily soak it, but you can release it to the customer at that four hour mark. What I would say is use one of their maintenance products to top the coating before you release it. That way it's just going to strengthen the coating. It won't speed up the cure process, but it will just strengthen the coating and help prevent even more water spots, et cetera, on the panel should it be exposed to any sort of elements. Ideally, you can pull this out into the sunlight when you are done just to let the heat from the sun let it cure a little bit faster. And if you want to maintain this coating or top this coating before you release it to the customer, any three of their maintenance products will work fantastic. You can use BioNano Pro, which is a beading topper. You can use Graphene Detailer, which is their most durable topper. And that's also a beading product. Or you can use their Nano Gloss Paint Sealant for those of you that enjoy a sheeting product. I actually used that on my test panel. And the entire section that had the Nano Gloss Paint Sealant on it uh, was practically bone dry by the time I was done uh, hitting it with water. So very impressive. That's going to help reduce the risk of water spots, but it's going to be a drying aid and just replenish the coating to give you that maximum durability. So we're going to keep moving on this right side, but I'm loving what I'm seeing. This is a fantastic coating. I'm really excited to continue to offer this to customers. All right, guys, here's our finished look using the Art to Shine ceramic metal oxide coating. Very impressive gloss and shine, especially on silver paint that sometimes you can struggle to get that wow factor. Uh, I have to be honest with you guys, when I initially was going to use this coating, I didn't know what to expect. Sometimes with these higher solids coatings, you can have a little bit more tenacious um, removal. It can be a little grabby, maybe not the slickest, and the removal process can be a little taxing physically. Uh, this product couldn't have been further from that. It was actually very pleasant to apply and remove. I didn't feel like I had to break a sweat or honestly exhaust myself physically whatsoever. It was it was kind of relaxing actually. It was a little bit of a stronger odor, but I had the, the garage door cracked just to prevent Initially, that. Initially, it may not have that wow slick factor, but the longer it cures, you're gonna get that slickness that a lot of people are looking for nowadays. But honestly, very impressed by this product, very user-friendly. For those of you that are looking for a durable coating to protect your vehicle with, uh, I encourage you guys check out Art to Shine Ceramic Metal Oxide Coating. Um, it's going to work fantastic for daily drivers, but especially like if you have a truck or Jeep and you like to go off-roading, or maybe you have a construction vehicle or farming equipment, I think these are going to be uh, fantastic vehicles to use this coating with just because of its durability and chemical resistance. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this in-depth look of Art to Shine, their ceramic metal oxide coating. I know it wasn't as close up of a look as I would have liked just because it's gray and it's hard to kind of show you guys the coating, but hopefully you got enough of a sense of what the product looks like when it's being applied, how to remove it, and what kind of user experience to anticipate. But for those of you who have used ceramic metal oxide coating, please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below so others can kind of gauge. I, I know essentially a lot of people are coming to YouTube because they just want to know what's the product like? Is it easy to apply? What kind of hydrophobic? So as the customer comes back, we will be doing hydrophobic tests and durability tests. And I also have this product on my test panel that will be doing regular updates on that as well. For those of you that want to know a little bit more about the hydrophobics, chemical resistance, etc. So make sure you guys subscribe, stay tuned for future videos on this vehicle as well as our test panel. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.